Hello everybody, my name is Tom Vassell and we are taking a look here at the most boring unboxing in the world as we take a look at stuff that comes into the Dice Tower and sees what it is. Hey, it's Wandering Towers. This is a from Capstone Games here. Um, it's a Kramer and Kiesling style game with towers, so that's kind of cool. Also, sleeves. And I believe this is Capstone's new company that makes sleeves. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Cool, cool. This is a hefty little box here. I wonder what's inside it, because it's very chunky and a little heavy. It's a game. But what game? It's hard to see with all the shrink wrap, but at least they kept it safe. From wear and tear. Oh, it's a sit-down game. Maps of Mystera. Huh. Only believe what you map. Okay. Well, we'll have to see what it's like. All right, let's see what's in this one. Boo ba doo 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 It's bubble. Bubbly wrap. What is this? I can't even see it yet. So it's not about sheep. They say crew. We have Canosa, One Day West Games, and Sheep Boomba. Sheep Boomba. Sheep Boomba. All right, here we go. More of this Brandon Sanderson stuff that I've spent way too much money on. All right, well, maybe this will be good. Come on. All right. Well, I'll just read what it says I got. A toiletry bag. A World Hopper toiletry bag. A World Hopper tag. Well, that's the tag. Cosmore Destination postcards and Cosmore character pin. Well, I will say this is not terribly bad quality. But, whatever. Maybe the postcards are nice. I'll never back one of these again. This stuff has just been a random mismatch of who cares. Okay, these are pretty awesome. These are cool. I like these a lot. Nah, postcards. I don't know why they say postcards. Like anyone's going to send it as a postcard. Alright, back to games hopefully. Let's see what we got. Blaze ball wild cards. I know it was a huge thing on the internet for a while. Uh, I don't know much about it, so yeah, we'll see if this is any fun or not. Blaze ball. All right, this is a bigger box. Okay, express route. Oh, I remember seeing this at Gen Con. I can't get out of the box. Maybe I can dump it out. Oh, and the perfect way, which you saw us play live here on the Dice Tower. This one seems to be open already. I'm not sure why. Wow, this got beat up. A tin. Rums. Oh, I know what this is. This is the game that uh, the castle shooting game from Germany. And someone sent this to us. Oh, that's really cool. We can put in Dice Tower Library now. All right. I... I'm starting to get, there's a bunch of small boxes here. Monson, the anything also got market. Okay. Oh, it's from Luma. Well, that's cool. Another Uber light box. Small Samurai Empires and Rise of the Tokugawa. A Small Samurai Empires uh, expansion. Cool. All right. Let's see what we got in here.
Wooly, some murder parties, and broad lines. Two straight line or one curve from Cranio. I think I remember them talking about that in a previous year. All right, this one, another game that got beat up outside. Look at that hole in the side of the box. The right word is often hard to get. So it's like a party game or something. It's coming from Gameplay Publishing. All right. I like party games. This one is definitely a Kickstarter, but that is the extent I know. Not a lot of heavy games today, by the way. I mean, like how much they weigh. Paleo Vet, along with some boards for the game. You're a paleo veterinarian trying to save dinos as possible. Okay, I like that idea. A small box here. Small game. Nawali. Become a Nawali shapeshifter along with a mat. I think there should be a rule, frankly. If the mat is bigger than the box, the game doesn't need a mat. Or it needs a bigger box. One of the two. That's Vassal's Law 88. All right, I was complaining about games. I was saying it wasn't that many heavy boxes. This one, really heavy. So I'm assuming this is a Kickstarter. A miniature one or something? We'll find out. Oh. Okay. This is Kinfire. Chronicles, Night's Fall. It's from Kevin Wilson. I also got the upgrade kit. So that's cool. I don't remember much about this one. Oh, wait. I do remember this one because we played this one live. It's been a long time. See, we played through a book. Okay. Well, all right. This next box no kidding, folks. It's taped with the box ends open like this. It's a wonder this one made it to us at all. Oh, that's because it's the copies of our stuff for our Kickstarter. So it got sent directly from China. Our new play mats. And bags. And coasters. These are the samples. And... Our new plushie, and new box bands, and containers, and yeah, that's it. The meeples, and the new dice. So these are the new meeples that are coming for the, the Kickstarter. I love how they look. Our double D6s. Box bands, containers, there's our new goblin die, look how cute he is, alright cool, this box here is from Mojave World, since it says that all over it, makes it kind of easy. All right, so we have Meza board game, or Mezen. Looks kind of cool on the back. And then we have Benevolent. Looks kind of like a kid's game, maybe? Very, very colorful. And then we have I'm Not a Robot Social Deduction Game. Looks like it has pictures from memes in it. Oh, and then designed by the author of Spyfall. Okay. And this one says I'm Not a Human. <laughs> All images were generated by AI. Well, they're being straight up by that. 
Interesting. I don't know what the rules of these are, but I'm fascinated by both of them. All right. Forever Home. This is from the same folks who made Dog Park. Looks interesting. A game about second chances for dogs. Well, we all love dogs, and if you don't, you're short. Another heavy, chunky box. Folks, I cannot tell you right now how tired I am of bubble wrap, and it's unreasonable because I know that it protects games, but I'm so, so tired of opening bubble wrap. All right. That is a gorgeous cover. Obviously, the Meek chose art. Wow. What happened here? This is Pythagoras games. They make good games, but their art has been so-so. And now suddenly, there's stuff. Look at this. Gods of Rome. And their games suddenly look gorgeous. I. This is unbelievable to me how much in one year their art has changed. Lata. About the... Looks like uh, sardines. And Lunar is 45. This is fantastic looking stuff. Another big box that's fairly light. Oh, it's the Iron Maiden <laughs> zombie side stuff. That works for all their different games. I'm interested in using it in Massive Darkness, so that's probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> all right, folks, that's it. The end of another boring unboxing video. So, whew. Well, there's no way all the stuff I got is going to fit into the bag because we got a ton today. But hey, the good news is I have multiples of these bags because, yes, All Play sponsors these videos, but I love these bags. They are absolutely fantastic, and I use them all the time. But anyway, that was a long unboxing, folks. We'll see you next time. Until then, I'm Tom Bassel, and you've been watching the most boring unboxings in the entire Earth, planet, universe.